Okay, so this is just a sort of description of the Arduino IR sensor and the components in it. So here we have the, this is the trigger that I was using in the earlier videos, uh, where I was triggering it manually. And so as you can see, there's the NRF um, 24 transmitter connected to a, an Arduino a Nano. And basically that's the push button I was using to trigger it when it worked. And I also later on added the beeper, but that's not in the earlier one. So that when the tr it alarm goes off, then it beeps. And so here we have the, the servo and you'll notice this server is quite big because this is actually different from the one that I was using before because the previous server ended up broken somehow so I had this bigger server that I'd ordered for something else so I attached that one and admittedly if you're trying to drop something a bit bigger then a bigger server would come in handy so there's the wires attaching to it so that's that USB power where, um, so the USB goes in one end and I've got the capacitors just to ease any noise from the server. And, and then the other end of the USB goes into the, um, uh, into the actual, uh, the other Nano, which is this one. So this Arduino Nano is like the receiver and it's got an NRF on it and the the reason why it has the sorry the, the reason why it has the cello tape is, is because i actually put it in a cardboard box so it just doesn't short out on the nano when i actually put it in the box so that it you know the mouse doesn't get distracted by the flashing lights and so then out of the nano we have the two infrared uh, sensors so this is the receiver on this side and that little part where the wires are going to that's actually a little circuit board with a um, it's got a MOSFET driver uh, which actually goes to the to the receipt sorry the transmitter and So on the other side we have the, so this part is the transmitter and uh, basically it sends, uh, and well the other thing I was going to say is you notice I've got the weights on it, that's so that it doesn't gradually move over time in case the wire is pulling on it and you notice that beside the transmitter is that a piece of card and the reason for that is because I didn't want the mouse to go in underneath too close to the transmitter so that it, so it doesn't trigger early and so that's so by putting the bait in the middle what that does is it helps to keep the mouse central for when the trap triggers and um, so you notice there's a similar thing on the other side where the cardboard is there uh, in order to um, so if the mouse comes from this side, it goes into the middle and it goes down towards the bait. And the good thing is even if the mouse comes sideways to the bait, which you notice they like to do sometimes, uh, because this, the bait is right at the back, the distance that it has to go is just too far basically. And another important thing about the triggering is that um, you have to make sure that the string is actually tight because I actually haven't done it like this but when you look in the videos you notice that the string is tight because you want it to pull away instantly and um, the other thing I've worked out you notice in the earlier videos I had a piece of cardboard and what you'll find is the cardboard actually slows down the speed 
at which the, it, the server can pull the board so I switched to like a piece of plastic because it's more solid and then when it pulls it um, comes out a lot more quickly and so, so actually I can show you a quick demonstration of that so you see the traps up at the moment so if I just pull the string yeah so you notice how quickly that dropped and you see that's important so basically that's just like a general overview of the how the track was set up and the consideration of how it has to be designed and like I say I think the reason why it was so effective is basically because the fact that the ground isn't blocked so the mouse can easily walk towards where the trap is so so that's that's just an overview of the Arduino IR Sentinel mouse trap. Uh, for just in case anyone else wants to build one that's similar. Okay, thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see any more videos like this. Okay, bye.